What's going? <laughs> um, I wanted to talk a little bit this morning about free will, um, about what that means to me and what I've been feeling. And then I wanted to do, I was thinking, because it's also Tuesday and I like to do Tarot Tuesday, that um, I was kind of thinking I would talk and share how I feel about what's going on, um, how I feel about some of my friends and how they're reacting and responding and internalizing what's going on. And then I was going to pull a card and just ask the universe what it thinks about my opinion. Since, you know, who else am I gonna ask, really? Um, so anyway, I wanted to start at free will. At this point, we are all in our homes and no one is in charge of what happens in there but us. Like, of course, there are laws and right and wrong doesn't really, okay, right and wrong as in we, we don't need to hurt each other. That's not nice. Wrong is not really appropriate because everything is, we don't need to go there right now. And we are all in our own home and we are all in charge. So we all have free will. We all decide, this is just me thinking right now from my point of view about free will. We all decide what goes on in our day, what time we wake up, what time we feed the kids, if we, that's our situation, um, what time we do our work. Of course, there's people that are expecting to hear from us or not and whatever, whatever, whatever our own thing is. For the most part, we do have free will. If we have to be there on time, we can decide if we want to wear pants. Um, we can decide if we want to have had breakfast or not. You know what I mean? We have a lot more flexibility with our free will now than we ever have before. Just because of there is no other option. <laughs> like even if you are an essential personnel, unless you are like camping there, you still go home and you're still not able to go hang out and have social time like before. So even if that's your situation, even if you are still working, like everybody is still working. I, I know like some people keep saying, well, I'm home. And I'm like, great for you. You're still working. At least, I, I mean, maybe, maybe you're not, but you know, you're awake and you're thinking. So in my head, you're working um, because thinking is work. Anyway, long story short, um, I'm thinking about the school thing the most. And I know the moms, the parents, the dads too, all the parents, their thing is like, they're so worried about the kids falling behind, you know, trying to keep up and not lose things. And I just needed for one second to speak to like that as an adult who grew up in a school where I didn't learn the way that other kids learned and nobody even noticed I kept passing. <laughs> so for, I mean, some people just don't want their kids to fall behind for the sake of their timeline, you know? There's so much to say here. Okay, let me, I'm gonna start at the beginning. First of all, everybody is out of school. Everybody's gonna have to do some kind of evaluation at the end of this period. There's no way we're all gonna go back to school on a Monday like nothing happened. There's gonna be so much time putting our shit back together because people are gonna be a mess. Kids aren't gonna know what to do with themselves again. We're not gonna know where we stand in, you know, like there's gonna be so much new learning, no matter if you sit home every day and try to do all the things, or if you're just not doing the things, or if you're doing a mix of whatever works for you, which brings you back to free will. If you're feeling like the school thing is super important to you for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, it's okay. It's your choice. If you decide school is important and you're finding a struggle, my suggestion is to consider, maybe this is your time to look at the way you're doing it and try it differently. Okay? I also want you to think maybe our children have free will. Our children, our children's bodies of consciousness come into this time on purpose. I believe that not only is our society gonna change after this, our bigger structures are probably gonna change after this, even if it takes a moment because there's momentum, there's years of momentum. Just like there's years of this in your mind, like this is what we gotta do. But I just wanted to suggest, 
a few things about that still. So if the parents that are getting all these things, all these worksheets, and I don't even know because I'm not looking at them, um, but all of the things, right? For the sake of ease, if unless your kids are like excited to do these things, maybe try this. Good morning, Johnny. <laughs> On the agenda today is blah, 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 blah. How do you feel about that? See what the person responds to the person. Your child is a person with interests. You know, when somebody's interested in something, they're gonna learn it and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be mutually beneficial, no matter how old or young each party is. That's why law of attraction is so magical. People that have no business hanging out and experiencing each other can do that. And no business as in me and some rando, you know, we wouldn't necessarily have met otherwise. You know, a coincidence, you know, because it seems so random. Back to the story. My thing is, Maybe our children are ready for a, a, a schooling, a, a teaching evolution, an educational evolution. Like, let them decide what they're interested in. Play it up the way they want to. If they want tactile shit, don't sit them at the table. Figure, do your work here. Okay, you want to hear about fucking fossils or you want to hear about water. You know what I mean? You want to learn about math. It does not have to be at a table with a pen and a paper. Get up use your mind you do a little bit of you know creativity if i'm sorry that was not nice <laughs> if it's not working and you're in charge and you keep doing it and it keeps feeling like fuck shit you're in charge okay but you're in charge so if you're learning about abcs today and you don't want to sit down at the paper, get up and do it another way. Go outside in ABC. Go outside and talk about all the things you see with A's. You don't have to be at the dang desk. Like, that is literally the point for the children's perspective, I feel like, for all this. They don't want to keep learning the way it's been learning because it isn't really working. It's not necessary anymore. So many things. So for the sake of this, we're all going to be on a timeout. We all have, there's not gonna be like we go back to school and we just pick right back up on social studies. That's not gonna happen. Like, no way. There's gonna be a little bit of talk about this no matter what you're doing. If you've done the work the whole time, if you haven't, all the in the middles. So I think the most important thing to do as a person who cares about you and your home and your sanity and your creation and your point of attraction, fucking keep yourself happy. Keep your children happy. If you don't want to sit at the desk, go out in the backyard and count rocks, count dirt. You can draw with objects. Use your imagination. Connect with your child. Teach them what you want to teach them in a different way. Do it a different way. Why not? When they go back to school, they'll get to go back to the desk. They'll go back to the paper if that's what you want. if that's what you want. This is a big space, friends. All the things that you're not doing because we can't, are you going to do them when you can, when you have to? Who says we have to anymore? We have to go to school and all of a sudden you close school, now we have to stay home? Kind of feels. Yes, I get there's a disease, a virus, a pandemic. I have been home this whole time. I haven't taken that bit one. I have had emotional breakdowns. I have called the police on people not respecting my boundaries. I take it fucking seriously with my whole soul. It is not a joke, but I take the advantages by the universe given to me equally seriously. And if the universe says go home with your family find love, find quiet, find something else that works. Because I bet that all of our families have spaces that we could feel a little familiar. There's a little bit more time, a little bit more love being given to us. Fucking ignore the emails a couple days. Look at it. Okay, this week we're gonna learn about this. Write it on a board. Every day you play with one. Play with it as much as you can. And then the next week, Start it over. I promise you, I promise you with all my promises I've ever made in my life, the kids will catch up. The kids ain't gonna fucking even, 
this is gonna blip their radar. This is gonna blip and, pip and like skyrocket them because children are open to change. They're excited for change. Even if their energy right now is like frustrated, kids are ready and always ready, 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 ready for more. So with all that very opinionated hot air coming out of my face, please hope that, I hope that you hear that with love. Um, just, you know, and I'm happy if you would like any ideas or suggestions or references. I have not at all become a homeschooling parent, um, even though that is something that I was looking at before this happened. But I do have friends that can point me in the directions to get you information if that's what you want. And sometimes my favorite thing is just helping connect the dots for people with that space. Like, you know, no, I don't know everything, but like, oh my God, the amounts of things and people that I know, guys, take advantage of me. If I've ever said it, ask me, how do I find this? Because I, I know, if I don't know it, I know how to get to it. That is my thing. That is my thing. Like, okay, now I'm gonna shut up about me <laughs> and I'm gonna talk to the cards because it's Tuesday and I have never done this before. So I'm gonna give myself a minute to calm down and I just wanted to say like what my plan is with this is having come here from a meditative space letting myself share honestly um oh there was another thing if the kids and the schooling is or isn't part of your thing but it's your reality um, I just heard it this morning listening to Dr. Joe. Your, uh, your personality makes up your personal reality. So if it's not about children or schooling and you're finding a struggle and a, a um, you know, resistance, uh, maybe it's time for that look, for that work. And y'all know that is also something that I do. <laughs> so if you're not sure where to start, I'm super duper happy to like help point you in a direction. So, you know, but I love that your personality creates our personal reality. How motherfucking true is that? And I feel like in my mind before I learned about how attraction and energy works, I feel like I learned like my personality is shaped from my outside. This is what shapes me, right? that's not true like I mean it can be true but to be a creator which is what I strive to be which is what I am and what I teach others to be we switch that and we think it and then we get to be it versus it's all happening to me and I gotta be it you know like right now outside is a ball of shit I could do that or I could be in here doing this and I just love that the whole like I just can't stop thinking about it. Personality creates personal reality. And it's like, oh my God. I'm going to play with that all day. So anyway, I'm going to talk to the cards. Um, I'm just going to ask what they feel about free will, about any of the things that I've shared this morning. Um, and I'm going to start with there and see what that is and then go back and forth if there is any other, you know what I mean? If there's something that's not clear um so what my my intention is is to pull the card in response to my feedback about what I was just sharing and then from there um we'll go and maybe do like a general guidance for like you know for um yeah let's do that so we'll do um I'm gonna pull a card and ask for a card for feedback about my free will share of course it's all up to us so you have free fucking will to ignore me, <laughs> you know, but, um, just what mother earth, mother earth, universe, angels, my guides think about, um, exploring your free will. You know, that's my, that's all I'm saying is explore your free will, play the fucking fuck out of it. Do whatever you want for a little while. Nobody is in charge. We're all going to have to readjust. And guys, I don't think we're going back to school this year, but anyway, I'm not going to freak anybody out, but we're all going to have to readjust, you know? Don't stress yourself out right now. Do the real thing. 
do the real thing like go into your family and go into your family discover things about your family your loved ones your kids your animals you haven't had time to notice because you've been running and running on everybody else's schedules and I'm shutting up because I want to talk to the cards now okay so first I'm just gonna take a couple deep breaths and um, clear the energy of the cards and myself and then I think I'm just gonna pull because I have already um, asked for what I want and um, I don't have to keep asking it's already there you know uh, which is just the way it is for me I may say it again but if I don't it's already there um, and also the reason I like to explain so much is um, I also everything that I do I like to teach it back not because you want to do exactly the same thing but I never thought that this was one of the things that I would do I never thought that some of the shit I did yesterday was shit I was gonna do you know so you I never know where people are or what part of your journey you're picking up slices of so I feel like whenever it's something cool or fun and I feel inspired I'm just gonna share it and I like to break it down in case anybody's paying attention and wants to play themselves because this when you can do it yourself when you can feel that connection and that open communication and the best thing the trust when you can learn to trust then it's like you're free you're freer than free you know and I'm not saying I'm always there or almost I'm almost there I feel and I'm not always there but I, I strive every day like it's my goal every day to be free and you know I think it's I'm shutting up When I do this, I just kind of ask the universe to clear the cards of all the energies, good, bad, mine, anyone else. I like my hands on all the cards. And then I bring it to my third eye space. Sometimes I even give them a kiss. Because I'm sensitive like that. I'm gonna split the deck because I'm being told to and shuffle. The first cards are here. And this is in response to free will. <laughs> this, um, sorry. I'm not being a, sorry. This card is um, the magician and it's called Impulse. And then I'm just gonna read what it has to say about that. It's super pretty also. Um, I wish I could have that closer for you to see. I don't know how I could do that without jacking on my camera. One of these days, guys, I'm going to be so good at all the things at the same damn time. But for today, I'll read. This card is the number one magician, the magician, impulse. Your energy draws knowledge and experience towards you. Choose what feels good and leave the rest on the path. Description. The magician wants to share a secret. Magic is not created out of thin air without explanation. Life filters toward you through your beliefs and faith. Tune into and enlarge the places in your heart that are ready to accept loving, healing, and supportive experiences into your world. Blue, the color of truth, blossoms with the questions of this magical goddess. Who am I? Where am I going and what should I do? She readies herself for receiving and like butterflies, her answers mysteriously arrive in her heart and mind and realization. The meaning. The magician reveals that what you seek is seeking you. The universe feels your energy and impulses and brings evidence of this to you. We sometimes call these synchronicities, fate or destiny. However, all comes to you as a gift of choice. You were able to transform any circumstance. Your quest may take you into formal or spiritual study. You may be prompted to read a book, seek a teacher, or reflect on life to learn from your experiences. What is happening in your daily life? You can respond with transformative tool of love. Well, 
I don't know, but I kind of think the universe and the cards agree with me, guys. I'm going to share this lovely reading. But if you're feeling a little bit of that stress around the school stuff, maybe consider this is the time to be a magician and see what's there. And you don't have to commit forever. You know, everything is temporary. When, when this is all said and done, you can find normal again. It doesn't have to be this. You don't have to give up work forever. You don't have to play in the dirt forever. But for a little while, you can go play in the dirt if you want. And now I'm going to ask um, for a card about um, any of my friends looking for general guidance this morning. Um, not necessarily related to free will or child schooling or whatever it is, even with work, if you're, I mean, of course, I, I, I'm not going to say get fired, but some people, our own businesses are sort of on pause and we're feeling this pull to like, oh my God, I got to ramp it up. I got to, I'm like, they're like over producing and they're, they're breaking down. I see my friends pushing like Clydesdales and then they're ill. They're feeling tired and exhausted and depressed. And these are friends that practice mindfulness. And if they were keeping their space in our normal space, I don't think they would have gotten so depleted. But you know, um, I'm just gonna say people who practice like personal um, times, rituals, maybe not the normal schedule, a lot of our, uh, my friends and my co-friends, co-teachers, um, light workers, yoga teachers, spiritual teachers, woo woo fucking friends whatever you want to call us a lot of us have been feeling the pull to try to like be more present for our people because it's like oh well i'm okay you know i've been doing a little bit of this work and i even feel kind of prepared for this and but i just want to remind even us the ones the people that aren't feeling um hard right now be mindful of your own energy recharge yourself especially with such a big thing no matter who you are whether you acknowledge energy or not you're feeling all this you know no matter what even if your head is under a rock that rock is feeling this so i'm gonna just ask for a guidance card now and just see if there's anything extra just for any of my friends split in the deck because i may be an ass to anyone that's not facing scheduling, personality, free will issues, and just seeking general guidance. That was weird. Okay. Um, two of trees, flexibility. I swear this card stalks me. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, okay. I just pulled this the other day when I did this. But again, I feel consistency is super important. Two of trees, flexibility. There isn't a more of a time to be flexible. To me, this card, when I see this now, two of trees, I'm going to show it to you closely and explain a little bit about my personal um, spiritual work right this moment. The two of trees is two trees intertwined from the ground, from the root, from the universe, from earth, up into the sky, into the world, reaching back up to the heavens, you know? That's kind of how I look at it. You see there's life, there's the different symbols, the sun, colors I see the colors I see love I see sacral I see stability um, root chakra I see solar plexus for sure and then that you know third eye symbol I don't I should know that better you know but to me this is not just trees not just flexibility for other people but inside of yourself this is a big time to let your whole self be flexible with yourself Find a merging, find a blending, um, emotionally, logically, find that right now. And, um, you know, whatever that looks like for you, if there's something that you've been wanting to explore, 
this is the time. If there's something you've been putting off, this is the time. Um, be flexible with all the things, the schedule or whatever it is that you've been trying to keep, maybe just be flexible there. Um, and then just, let me just read what this says about it specifically. So it says flexibility, adapt and adjust your energy to balance the situation. The solution journeys with a problem. If you just see the problem, you can't see the solution. Description. The two trees embrace showing how flexible they are. Their roots snake through a patchwork of past experiences that have been crystallized into one strong foundation. Remind me of that. The heart pumps gently, the heart gently, the hearts gently pump warmth from above down into the earth in a steady harmonious way to remain in balance the trees need the masculine sun's rays of expansion as well as the feminine compassion that flows in rivers from the all-knowing eye the ankh represents the cycles of death birth and rebirth these trees are ready for anything in fact they will adjust and adapt to whatever life brings in order to grow the meaning the two, of trees, the two of trees impedes on a financial or business affair. A situation is not going to plan, but a solution is on the way. Trying too hard to bring about a resolution will only delay or prevent the desired outcome. Let it be. The chips will fall where they may and a new path will be revealed. Yes, yes, undoubtedly. Sorry, passionate Paula got lost. In taking on too much, you lose sight of the trees for the forest. Prioritize tasks, whether they be work, family, or hobby related. This card also asks that you care about your physical body. Balance your inner and physical self with meditative movement. Walking contemplation and inspired action will follow. All right, my loves. That's some bomb um, advice from all of us. <laughs> all of us here this morning. I'm gonna go finish some coffee and pull a few more cards. I will see you guys later. Love you.